Welcome back guys to another something spicy. Today we're gonna make Swan Lafen. Yep. I don't know if I said it right. But no, uh, you said it right, yeah. Okay. Swan Lafen. So that's uh, hot and sour glass noodles. And yeah, I haven't had that in a while. And I think, Dan, have you ever had it? Mm, maybe. I, I don't remember. But yeah, but I, hey, we're gonna try to make it ourselves for the first time. So, gonna take you guys along the ride. Yeah. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. See you in a bit. Alright, so this dish has quite a lot of ingredients in it, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll need roughly 2 spring onions, 2 tablespoons of chili oil, 1 teaspoon of sugar and citron peppercorn powder, which we will grind manually of course, 6 tablespoons of peanuts, 2.5 cup pickled mustard stems, 2 teaspoons of chili flakes, some fresh coriander, 1 tablespoon of ginger and 4 cloves of garlic and all these other ingredients that I'll get to later. But our main ingredients are these sweet potato glass noodles or hong shu fen si in Chinese. Or as they say in France, uh, <clears throat> Nouille de pomme de terre refine. Nailed it. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Turn up the heat, add some oil, it's time for some yeah, nuts. Boy. This dish is usually made with soybeans or peanuts, but today I had to go for peanuts. First thing I had to do is to roast them on a low heat until they got a nice tan and then I set them aside. To finish it off I added some salt and that's our final dish all done. Looks so good. Nah, just kidding. Now for the noodles we had the Hong Shu Fen Si. Wow! Thanks Simon. Traditionally they use a sweet potato batter and some kind of colander that lets out strands of batter in boiling water to form the noodle. And it looks so cool but that's for another video. These are fine as a substitute. So I'm going to cook these until the texture is like a soft bite, but still bouncy, which took about 8 minutes. Then I drained and rinsed it in cold water so that they wouldn't clump together. Time for the soup. I'm using 1.2 liters of homemade chicken stock, but you can use any kind you have in your kitchen. Simply heat that up on the stove top and keep an eye on it. In the meantime, we'll prepare our sauce. First, I'm going to grind the citron peppercorns into a powder to use later. Then take your cloves of garlic and ginger and mince them up and add them to a big heat proof bowl. Next add in 2 teaspoons of toasted sesame seeds and chili flakes. And that's it for now cause we're going to heat up 4 tablespoons of oil in a small pot until it starts to smoke. Then pour it directly into the bowl and let that sizzle away. Then give it a little stir. Now we're going to add in 4 tablespoons of black vinegar, 4 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of dark soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 teaspoon of the citron peppercorn powder, half a teaspoon of white pepper, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, and lastly, the super amazing aromatic chili oil. We used our homemade Spicy Boys chili oil, check out the video if you haven't. Anyway, that's the sauce and soup all done, time to put it all together. Okay, let's go. Noodles in first, then our delicious sauce, then add our stock, some of that homemade chili oil, and then for our toppings, we got some of that spring onion, pickled vegetables, fresh coriander, and finally our peanuts from the start. And that's our swan lafen, all done and damn. Don't tell me that this doesn't look good, okay? I'm hyped for this one, so let's eat. We did it, Dan. Looks good, man. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Let, I, let's, uh, I'm gonna destroy this now, sorry. Yeah, uh, I know it's really pretty, but... You gotta mix it up to eat this uh, dish. Yeah, I'll give you some, Dan. Okay, Ooh, it, it gave me a little bit. Oh, I want a good ratio. Ready? I'm hungry. Me too. Moment of truth. Cheers. Cheers. Oh damn. That, that's, that's really good, man. <laughs> that's really yeah. good. Didn't expect to have this much flavor. Too well. Yeah, it's so complex. Let me, let me try the soup just on its own. Yeah, it's nice and sour. But I feel like I could use a bit of an extra kick, you know? I mean, our, our oh, yeah. homemade chili <laughs> oil is not like the, the, the most spicy. So. That's spicy. 
add some of this chowjo chili oil. I think I'm gonna go with that one. That's yeah, cool. I mean you have to. Come on, you're you're a spicy boy, dance, Richard. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. that's better for sure. I don't know what to say, man. It tastes like home. Yeah, I'm not from this one, but oh yeah, me neither. Or... But. You know, we're from China, right? So, sure. close enough. Tastes good to me. Yeah, this is really delicious, guys. We won't spare you any more time, so let's end the video, shall we? Yeah, true. Make sure to like the video, as always, yeah. and subscribe if you liked it. And uh, let us know what you want to see next time. Exactly, yeah. Because uh, we're yeah. always open to try exactly. more dishes. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough said. See you guys next time. Keep it spicy.